folks, this is Jason Good with the Good Life Outdoors out here in Wimberley, Texas, out at our hunting lease. So we have about 400 acres that we lease right on the Blanco River. Beautiful piece of property, lots of oak trees, quite a bit of cover. We have deer, we have hogs, we have turkey. Love hunting all of them. It's just a great place to come out to. Today I'm out here to show you my deer blind. This is something I put together last year. It started off its life as a moving crate uh, that we have done some modifications to. Made a really nice blind. Really like how it turned out. Did a lot of things that worked for me in the way I hunt, both as a bow hunter and a rifle hunter. And I wanna be able to walk you through it and show you everything that I've done and hope you get an idea of how I've put this thing together and what works for my purposes. Hopefully we'll give some ideas for your purposes. So let's get started. Here's the inside of the blind. It's about five foot wide, about six and a half feet long, and about seven and a half feet tall. This is important because I like to stand when I bow hunt. I'm about 6'3", and I have plenty of room to raise my bow and shoot out these windows that face a feeder that I have here during, uh, during bow season. So this, uh, this works out well. It's a nice large space. I can sit two people in here. You may have seen the video with uh, me and my daughter and we had plenty of room. And it's just nice to have some room to move around. My last blind was about four foot by four foot and I was pretty cramped in there. Obviously I couldn't bow hunt out of it. I couldn't stand up straight. So it, this is definitely a, a nice upgrade to that one. So this blind has six windows, all by Deerview Windows. It's a company here in Texas that makes windows specific to deer blinds. Now these are super easy to use. So far I've kept out all the elements and the staff there at Deerview Windows were wonderful to work with. I just came to them with a rough idea of what I wanted to do and they were able to walk me through the, getting the right product. So I'm not affiliated with them, but wanted to give them a shout out because they really are uh, do put out a great product. So I'll, I'll walk you through the, how the windows are put into place. These vertical windows in the front are my bow hunting windows. Uh, during bow season, I do have a feeder that's a little closer in, get things a little, little more in range. Like I was saying before, I can stand up in here and I can shoot. So being able to have these nice tall windows to shoot out of is fantastic. And I'll show you how these open up. So there you go. Nice open area here. Usually during bow season, the other windows that I have around I'll black out. So all the light that's coming in is from the front. I usually wear something very dark and that works out fairly well. I've, I've been successful uh, out of this blind uh, without much uh, detection. So it works out pretty well. You can see here behind me, I have the framing for the vertical windows here. Now this used to be just a flat wall of the container. I took this and moved this back about a foot and a half from the original size just so I have these angled walls that I can shoot out of and keep the integrity of the, of the container itself. So what's kind of funny out of that is I actually have a little front porch that has a little cover and a little uh, area out the front. I've, I've kind of joked around that that's where I'm going to put my, uh, my little grill um, for, uh, for hunting. Uh, obviously that, that hasn't happened yet. I have these rests here. These are rifle rests or elbow rests as the case may be. And I can adjust these if I'm shooting out the window. As you can see, I have this set up to where I can move this rest where I need it. If I need to put this rifle out the window and want to really lock onto a target, I've got a place for my elbow 
and it works out very, very well. One of the things I like to put on my blinds is a little rear view mirror. I pulled this off an old truck and it's kind of gone from blind to blind with me. Um, obviously I don't want to be turning my head all the way around all the time. So it's always good to be able to kind of check what's going on uh, at another angle or what's going on behind me uh, just by simply uh, shifting my eyes. So this is great for deer hunting. Uh, I, I'm not real pleased of where this is in the blind right now. So I'll probably be moving this before uh, next deer season. But I've got a hook for my bow so I can stand there and have my bow hang without having to hold it the whole time. It's very easy for me to reach up and grab the bow off the hook without making any noise. And of course, no deer bind is complete without a good comfy chair. This thing's adjustable up and down. Nice office chair. I think my dad picked it up a long while back. It's served me well over the years. Well, that my friends is my deer blind. Hope you enjoyed this tour. Maybe you got a little information out of it and hopefully it gave you some ideas. If you have any questions, feel free to post them down below in the comments. I will get back to you. If you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos on hunting, fishing, cooking, subscribe to that channel. So thanks for following along. Y'all take care.